Hello YouTube, I'm Tom and Brad and today we're going to have a look at the spectator mode in Space Engineers. How to access it, how to adjust the settings and how to troubleshoot some problems that might arise. Let's go. So just to show you the settings that I'm using here, if I go into load game and choose the game that I want to edit the settings of and then go into edit settings. You can see I'm in survival mode, so this is a typical play mode that you'd be using. If I go into advanced, now you can turn on the spectator cam here if you like. Alternatively, if you're just playing a normal game, you're already in the middle of the game and you want to access the spectator cam, but you don't have this switched on. What I want to do is show you how to do that from the game itself. So I'm just going to ignore these settings, leave them at default and OK that. Then I'm going to load up that game. So here I am in the game and if I hit V, there's my external view. But that's not the spectator cam that we're looking for. The one we want, you would normally access by pressing F8 on the keyboard. So if I tap F8 now, nothing happens because I didn't enable spectator cam in the menu. But we can enable it in game. So we need to access the admin tools. So it'll need to be your game. You can't do this if you're playing on a friend's server and you don't have the administrator rights. So to access the admin tools, we hold down Alt. If you just remember A for admin, A for alt, this is the easiest way I find to remember which button it is because there's a few combinations of these. So alt and then tap F10, we get the admin screen. And you can see here we've got admin tools. And what we need to do is enable creative mode tools. And you can see the little pop-up message there. It says gives permission to copy and paste, spawn objects and spectate with F8. So I'm going to tick that, then hit escape to come back out. So now if I hit F8, there we go. Now that's not just the external view with V. If I use the WASD and spacebar and all of that, you can see I'm in a detached camera. So that is the spectator camera. So we might want to use the spectator camera if we just want to have a quick look at something, maybe see what's going on without actually flying our person over there. Now I can see there's some activity up on the hill over there. I'd like to go and see what that is. So I'm going to fly over there with W. We can see it's very slow. So if I hold down shift, it's like the run button that goes a bit quicker. It's still very slow. So while I'm holding W to go forwards and shift to go a bit quicker, if I scroll my mouse wheel forwards, you can see it speeds you up too fast. If I pull the mouse wheel back, it slows me down. Oops, still too quick. So hold down shift, pull the mouse wheel back and that will have slowed me down. So that's how we adjust the speed. So now I'm up with this uh, gold-plated car that I used in the 100 subscribers video. Incidentally, I'm over 200 subscribers now, so thanks very much for all of that. Appreciate it. I want to get my character here, so at the minute I'm just a sort of a floating invisible camera. The easy way to do that is to hold down the control key and tap the space bar. But look what happened there. I teleported in, but I dropped straight to the earth. If I had a long drop, that might have killed me. So a useful thing to remember is when you're about to go into spectator mode, turn on your jetpack. Even if you're standing on the ground, just hit X to turn on your jetpack and then enter spectator mode. And no matter where you teleport to, you should be floating. Now I need to take control of my character again. I'm still in the camera, but my body's there. So I hit F6 to jump back to my character. And there we are. If I hit V, you can see, yeah, that's me controlling the character. So let's go back to spectator mode and see what happens here. So if I hit F8, it's remembered where the camera last was. So I could be working away on this vehicle, but in the meantime, perhaps I've got my spectator camera watching some activity over here. If I hit F6, I can go back, carry on working. I want to check what was going on back over there. Hit F8 again, the camera's still there. So some common problems that arise with the spectator cam are things like it doesn't move. You can't get it to turn. You can't get it to move forwards or backwards. Well, I showed you a second ago about holding shift in the mouse wheel for the speed forwards and backwards. Now, if for some reason you can't move forwards or backwards, perhaps your speed is set to the absolute minimum. I'm pressing W now and I'm not moving. S, not moving. I can move the mouse still, can't go left or right or up or down. Space and C don't work either. Hold down shift, push the mouse wheel forwards a little bit. Now try W. 
Nope, still not working. Push it forwards a bit more. There we go. It's starting to catch up. That's it. It was just simply that the speed was set too slow. Now this can happen by accident. It's happened to me several times. There's a lot of comments on Google, people wondering why their spectator cam doesn't work or you can't move, and that's often the reason. Now what if you can move forwards and backwards, left, right, up, down, but when you move the mouse, it doesn't move? Well, it's a similar thing to the shift and mouse wheel, but if I hold control, then push the mouse wheel forwards while I'm moving the mouse, it's starting to move, starting to move. There we go, and now it's moving. You can also reduce the speed of the turning or your mouse control, if you like, of the spectator cam. So instead of shift and mouse wheel, this motion is control and mouse wheel. So let me turn it up high and turn the mouse. Whoosh! And it's far too quick. Can't control that. So if I hold down control and scroll the mouse wheel back towards myself, there we go. It starts to slow down and you can choose the speed that you want the mouse or head turn, if you like, to move. Now, what else can you do with the spectator cam? Let's go back into the administrator's tools menu. So that's Alt and F10. And in here, we can see in admin tools, there's an option for cycle objects. Now, if I click on that, it starts by cycling through players. So if you're the administrator on a server and you've got friends playing, you could cycle through the characters and see what they're up to. So I could do next and it would scroll to the next player. But it's just me on this one at the minute. So it's just staying on me. What else can we look at? Well, we could have a look at the biggest grid in the game. And there it is there. That looks like one of the trading stations. Now let's say we want to visit that trading station. Let's just hit escape. And we should have, yeah, we've got control. It's very slow. So I'm going to use control and the mouse wheel just to speed up. That's it. That's a bit quicker. Now I want to visit this station. So I'm going to do control and space bar. But remember, we haven't got the jetpack on. So I'm going to go closer to the ground. Control, space bar. There we go, my character's dropped in. Now I want to take control of my character. Just hit F6. And there we go, back to normal. What about going to another planet? How long do you think it'll take us to get to that planet there? Well, pull down shift, push the mouse wheel, and off we go. Mouse wheel still pushing forwards on the mouse. I think we're at max speed, and then I'm going to start pulling back. There we go. Okay, and then we want to teleport here, so control and space. I'm going to hit F6 straight away to take, take control of my character, and I'm going to hit J to put my mask down because it's a toxic atmosphere here. And now, if we have a look, we are on the alien planet. So that's how to access the spectator cam, how to change the settings, and how to troubleshoot some problems that you might have, and some examples of where you might want to use it. Hope it's been useful. If you'd like to see a tutorial of something else in Space Engineers, just let me know. And I'm dead. <laughs> All right, I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.